The recent video of Pastor Mboro waving Amapanga at a school in Gatlehong left a lot of people talking and not just the people in South Africa. Another person who caught light of what was happening on Monday with Pastor Mboro is a prophet a shepherd Bushiri. Now, I don't know if you guys still remember, but these two, Bebang Azwani, they had some sort of beef going on. You know, prophet Bushiri was always on Sam Umboro is working with people to get him arrested. You know, he is working to people with people to do Amasmir campaigns and ruin his reputation. At some point, he even went on to label um, Upasta Mboro as an anti Bushiri activist. Well, it seems like he saw the video, um, the disturbing video of Pastor Mboro, and he was like, Yeah, something off <laughs> and um he basically released what looks like you know a mini statement on his instagram or rather maybe a comment on the events that took place involving Opastamboro. and he said in his post after fighting me in the name of fighting for south africans he is now fighting the same south africans with guns and knives you can't fight an innocent man because you think he is a threat to your interests and have your things move well he was very instrumental to the crooked hawks and the police that hunted my wife and myself a day and night some were even under his payroll what a shame now south africans have seen the state of the so-called anti-bushiri activist with the most famous movement bushiri must go home i could not stay in that country with such a people after me imagine what would happen if i was still there Anyway, we wish him a quick mental recovery this side of Malawi. Wow. So this prophet literally thinks that he's innocent. He thinks that the hawks are the crooked ones. And basically, yeah, nah, he is the innocent one in the situation. Yet he scammed so many people of millions and made his way out of South Africa in the night, Namatexi, using routes that are not even legal to use to exit the country. But I mean, here we are. Um, this is our situation. But yeah, man, he has also caught on with what happened with Pastamboro and um, it seems like he is gloating a little bit and he's like, yeah, Nayamaga is tall, like, you know. <laughs> so it's interesting to see his comment, but it is what it is. And it seems like the beef between the two spiritual leaders is still very much alive.